lot of frames are won and lost by the break-off shot. It's a very important aspect of the game. The idea is not only to split the pack, but also to place your opponent in a little bit of trouble. Hopefully to create an opening. What I'm trying to do is, on this occasion, to hit the end red, send the white around the angles, in between the blue and the pink, it's in the side cushion, hopefully settling on the bolt cushion, somewhere behind one of the bolt colours. Even if I'm not putting my opponent in trouble, what I'm trying to do is cut down his options. So here, I'm playing quite close to the yellow. I'm going to hit the end red. I'm putting right hand side on the cue ball and swing the cue ball around the angles. Inside the blue, settling behind the pink, as close to the ball cushion as I can get. I'd be quite happy with that break off. Another option, instead of having the cue ball close to the yellow, we bring it closer to the brown. Still playing the same shot, but because we're coming at the end red at a slightly different angle, we don't need quite so much side. Still the same shot. And this time I've played a poor shot and I've left my opponent a quite an easy opening with a red into the middle. That's a result of it in the end red a little bit too thickly. It's come off the cushion and back up. Very poor break off. I prefer personally to do the break off closer to the yellow and then there's less danger for me personally of hitting that end red too thick and bringing it up towards the middle pocket. It's down to what suits you as an individual, whatever you prefer. On the first two break-offs, you'll notice that I was hitting the end red. Now what I'm going to try and do is break off hitting the second red. This will obviously disturb the pack a little bit more. So I need to be very careful where I position the white. Otherwise I may leave an opening. Now which red I choose to hit largely depends on how confident I feel. Am I 2-0 up or 2-0 down? Am I queuing well? Am I timing the ball right? Just depends how I feel. But here I'm close to the yellow, I'm putting right hand side on the cue ball, which in this case is running side, coming off the second red, around the angles, onto the ball cushion. I haven't quite made the ball cushion, but I've certainly come behind the green and I've really cut down my opponent's options. So I'd be reasonably happy with that shot. This next break off is the same shot, except that I'm coming closer to the brown. Some people prefer that. And it demands a little less side uh, when you play the shot. So here again, it's right hand side with topspin. It's in the second red. Hopefully putting the opponent in a little bit of bother. A little bit short on pace, plenty of disturbance, and the opponent really hasn't got many options. Some players actually prefer, rather than hitting the 
end red, or indeed the second red, they prefer to break off the third red. Irrespective of which red you're hitting, I would urge you to ensure that you get through the ball. The reason I say that, that if you have a tendency to stab at it, there will be an element of stun when it hits the red, and there's a very real danger of going in off with this type of break off. Please be aware of that. Please ensure you get through that cue ball. Another type of break off I can do is a plain ball shot on the cue ball, hitting the end red very thinly, coming off the cushion here and back to the bulk area. Just a nice, simple, plain ball shot, not disturbing the pack very much at all. Now I'd use that type of break off if I've got a new cloth on the table and there's a heavy sheen on it. I'm reluctant to use side because of the sheen. I'm feeling a little bit nervous or a little bit apprehensive. My opponent is possibly a, a very good long ball potter and I don't want to leave him an opening. I'm unlikely to put him in any trouble by playing this shot, but I'm also unlikely to leave him an easy opening. I haven't disturbed the pack of reds very much at all. If he's a good player, then it's possible that he may put me in trouble by swinging it around, swinging the cue ball around between the blue and the pink and back to ball. But because I'm 2-0 down, as opposed to being 2-0 up, feeling that little bit nervous, I would prefer to play that shot. As I mentioned earlier, the break-off is an important part of the game. A lot of frames are won and lost by a bad or a good break-off shot. It's well worth practising. Do I prefer to hit the end red, the second red, or indeed the third red? Do I prefer to play with a lot of side to swing it around? Do I prefer to play from close to the brown or close to the yellow or midway? If I'm breaking off from this side, is it close to the brown or is it close to the green? Do I, am I fairly confident of getting the cue ball in an area behind the green? Or if I break off from this side behind the yellow? The break-off is an important part of the game and needs a little bit of practice. And if you spend a few minutes just practicing it, it will reap its own rewards. Mm -hmm.